In this video I'll show you how to remove the power supply, hard drive, the fan and also the motherboard properly without damaging any of the components. First you'll need to remove 5 screws that are holding the lower support bracket in place. Also you can watch my previous videos on how to remove the LCD screen so it's not that difficult but you'll need to do that prior to starting to remove this of course. Next we'll remove the two hard drive covers. You can remove the hard drive at this position. Disconnect the power button ribbon cable. Connect it to the power supply. Remove the power controller cable. Next we're going to remove the power supply. Remove two screws holding the power supply in place. Next we're going to remove the power supply. Please ensure no power cable is connected and you press the power button few times to discharge any electricity left in the capacitors. Gently pry it, lift it up like this and there are still two cables connected so don't yank it out. So one is connected to the motherboard with a clip so you'll need to put your hand in there towards the right side on the bottom and press the clip in and it should just come out. And there is another grounding cable connected near the Apple logo. You'll need, you'll need to use a long prying tool to help you get to that clip. With a long prying tool, you'll see a little connector tab holding the cable in place. You'll need to push that in and the cable should just come out easily. And that's how you remove the power supply. Next, to remove the fan power supply cable. Next, we're going to remove the fan. Three screws hold the fan in place. Next, 
Next we're going to remove the hard drive bracket. Be careful the ribbon cable is still run down from behind it. Remove the speaker cable. Next, remove the FaceTime ribbon cable. Next, we're going to remove the Wi-Fi antenna screws and also remove the four antenna wire is coming down from the top right gently pry it off its connection Next, remove the right speaker cable connector. On the bottom right, remove the headphone connector cable. Remove four screws holding the motherboard in place. Remove the exhaust duct to the rear enclosure by removing four screws. One thing I do recommend is you remove the SATA cables coming from the left out of its position before you remove the motherboard so the cables come together out with the motherboard not like in my case here I left the cable still uh, routed in that metal plate on top of the rear exhaust duct so this made my job a little more difficult so as you can see here the cable is holding it in place still until I realized a little bit later there we go, I'm removing the cables, but I also damaged um, one of the connectors here, but not a big deal. I fixed that up um, as soon as I've fully disassembled and seen the extent of the damage. And here now you can also access the RAM, and this is the bit that is damaged, the little connector bit, the plastic bit that is part of the motherboard usually. It just came off uh, because I yanked it a little bit too hard, but not a big deal, and I'll show you how to put it back later on. Here is the minor damage, the little connector has come off with the cable because I pulled it too hard so we're just going to put it back in place with the correct alignments. Four pins are a little bit bent but we'll fix that up.
and that's nice and secure and the cable will go in nicely so no big damage thank you for watching see you in the next video thanks for watching please subscribe to support this channel